There you go. Uh, I guess I'm gonna... Okay, yeah, so I guess Arrow Walk was Ioxx's pick, and uh, down big here early on, but of course, this is a map where you can rack up a bunch of kills quickly. Sorry for that. Nobody actually told me that they were getting the game underway, so we're just gonna have to jump into this one about eh, about 20% of the way into it. Not too bad. I'll tell you the stats right now. G-Swag up 5 to nothing. This is a map. Of course, Arrow Walk coming from Quick. It's extremely small, extremely fast-paced. You can get on a run and rack up a bunch of kills quickly, so it's really a map of runs, even more so than any other map. Because uh, while you can get a big advantage with that keg and the 100 armor, of course, it can also disappear very quickly as well. So what you're going to see players do is fight over the 100 and the keg, and rather than being a little bit more deliberate and slow like you may be on some other maps and bigger maps, you're going to need to try to convert those into kills as quickly as possible before your opponent has time to uh, to get any weapons, because that spike damage can come around corners, all these can pop you in the face, and you can you can die very quickly no matter how, how stacked you are on this map. See that keg going to G-Swag. And not unlike the quick version of this map, since the, uh, in this case, the 100 armor and the keg both have the exact same spawn time, you're going to see the player in control typically grab both of those uh, until they die. Then the other player will usually have time to them as well. But prediction flakball to answer that prediction combo by G-Swag. Let's go ahead and uh, and flip over to Iox and see what he's trying to do to do a great... Oh, there you go. Two flat primaries in a row. That'll break down some armor. Now it's his turn to try to get a couple spawn kills and convert these into extra points. One thing you'll note about this map is it's actually a little bit more chaotic uh, than the Quake version of this game. Just because... Or the Quake version of this map. Just because the game is much more agile. So you can change directions on a dime in this game. Whereas you're a little bit more predictable and linear in Quake. I think it actually makes for a slightly even faster paced game, and right now Iox is looking extremely uncomfortable, can't really get anything going, uh, mostly because he just doesn't have any of those weapons that you need. Uh, this is a map that's a little bit less shock dependent than some of the others. Uh, combos, of course, always nice, but there's so many angles of attack from every position on this map, you can't just sit around. Ooh, a flak right through the window there, good job by Iox trying to predict that. But yeah, you can't really zone people out with combos in this map like you can in others because it's so hard to predict where exactly they're coming from. G-Swag rockets himself in the face. That's going to cost him. Ajax is going to try to convert this into some extra points. But he doesn't have a whole lot of health to work with. So like we say, you can lose health so quick on this map. You have to be careful uh, picking your spots as far as aggression goes. Another rocket shooting right around that shield. Falls down, though, so G-Swag's going to have a chance to regather himself. Not going to get that keg, though, so Ajax now control, going to try to rack up some more kills and uh, eat away at this 8 frag deficit. He's still got 10 minutes to do it, and only about a third of the way through the map. That's plenty of time. The shock's going to hit him, but he's got, got the weapons and he's got the health to uh, stand his ground here, and that 100 armor's going to go to him. He's going to head down to Keg after this, but the timings are a bit offset. So you're not going to see people grab one and then immediately grab the other like you sometimes see. Two rockets coming in, a third rocket coming in, looking a bit like Quake right there as Iox. Assault grenades can bounce around a lot in this map. Oh, big flak primary right after the flak ball combo to pop him up into the air. Iox just waiting for him to pop through there. Maybe trying to get a telefrag. G Swag, though, predicts him correctly. Makes him pay. Keg should be spawning soon unless someone already grabbed it. Doesn't look like it. There it is. G Swag just, just beats him to it. Takes some damage in the process, and it looks like it was Iox's chance to fire to a rocket himself in the face. Taking a page right out of my own book. Looks like G-Swag doesn't quite have timing of that 100, though. He got that keg and uh, expected the 100 to be right up afterwards. But like we said, they were a little bit desynced, which is not entirely unusual for this map. But most of the time, someone who's gonna, someone's going to win a fight over the first one that spawns and then beat the other person to the second one. In this case, not so much. They're spawning about maybe 10 to 15 seconds apart, which uh, is going to break up the flow of this map a little bit give players time to fight a whole other engagement in between spawns. What that also means is that the player that's in control isn't going to be completely stacked for a, for a great period of time. They're going to have a little bit of fighting to do in between them. So Ajax now has the high ground, but there's so many angles attack of, of attack once again on this map, especially when you throw in all the wall dodges. If you forgot about the keg, Ajax losing control of that. Negates it with some rockets, though, takes him down quickly. Hunter's not going to spawn for about another 10 seconds, though, so he can sit in one spot if he wants. 
As you often see it in Quake, and uh, pretty much what he's going to opt to do is just try to keep GS3K pushed away with a bunch of spam down there. A couple easy rocket hits that's going to give him free damage. No retaliation available by G-Swag. He's going to load up three rockets. This is something you don't see in Quake. Obviously, loading up a ton of damage with the rockets. Wow, if any of those flak shards had hit Iox, he would have gone down. A bit lucky there. Still has two health. Going to pick up a little bit of health. Not much around the map, though. It's all missing, and that 100 armor is only going to negate 75% of this damage, so I think an LG shot, yep, it's going to take him down to 10 health. It's pretty much going to go down to any other shot here. Going to be very careful. It's a nice LG shot around the corner. does go down. Keg is up, though, and g Swag is going to grab that one. Let's go switch over to him and see how he what he tries to do with that. Oh, well, he's going to do nothing with that, because Hyox absolutely pancakes him with two, uh, two flat primary shots in a row. Almost runs into that combo. Actually runs past it, but he does go down to some shock primary. Immediately runs back into there, but I think G-Swag is going to be holding this position, anticipating this 100 armor spawn. There it goes. Rocket's not really scaring him away, but he, now he's in a position where he needs to grab some health. Ooh, flag primary just misses, so a good prediction move by Iox just can't make it connect. I believe 50 armor went to him too, so it's going to be in a decent position to fight. We'll see who decides to fight over it and uh, who decides to go back for Keg. Oh, G Swag takes Rockets to the face. Uh, it's knocking him down, but uh, he's going to be right on top of that Keg, so he's going to just pretty much negate all of that damage. Perfectly predicted Rocket there. He's going to push Iox away and probably get a free 100 out of this. I don't think Iox is going to be in a position to really uh, contest this. It'll be up any second now. Swag jumps away from it though, trying to maybe get a prediction kill out of this. Grabs the 50. Heads back up to the 100. So a smart move by G Swag. He knows that Iox is going to be afraid to fully contest this 100. So he grabs the 50 in the meantime. And everything just went to G Swag. Got the 50, the 100, and the keg successfully. Not able to really turn any frags out of this though, as he's uh, having a hard time getting any free shots on Iox. Instead, he's exchanging fire. Iox is doing a good job of, of anticipating and trying to get some. Uh... Oh, there you go! Completely negating all of that health on him. He's gonna pull. He's gonna pull out this minigun. Actually, takes it on top of the keg. Takes that kill. So down by six is Iox. Plenty of time here, especially if he can convert this frag. The gun comes out. Can't quite get it. You need to try to anticipate where G Swag is going. Oh, just turns the corner and just avoids that piston tap. Iox knows that this 100 armor is coming up soon. He's going to be a little bit early for it. Gives up a couple weapons in the process. And see if that comes back to hurt him. Does have the health and armor advantage, so any fight he's going to... Oh, big combo comes out. But see, he had to predict that shot a couple seconds in advance. Runs right into all this flak damage, though. Three flak balls in a row. Does sneak around and gets the kill. Almost a spawn kill. See if he can convert this. He needs to start converting all these kills. There you go. Gets a second kill off of that. But he's still low health, and he did get two for one if he goes down here. He can bait G-Swag around and maybe get another kill out of this. Keg comes up, and all of a sudden, Ajax right back up to a reasonable amount of health. Big flak ball comes in. If he can get another hot... Oh, wow. A nice LG shot. You see, he had to turn. Basically, line that one up before he went through the teleporter. You see, both players extremely comfortable with this map, what we can see here. Anticipating players going through the teleporters and instinctively turning the right direction. Iox is going to get the 100 armor on top of this now. But he's got control of the power-ups. Of course, this map being so slow, both players are going to know when they respawn. That was a telefrag by G-Swag. First one I've actually seen on this map. Gotta be careful standing right by those portals. Black ball is coming in. Oh, G-Swag rockets himself in the face. Yep. Third rocket suicide we've seen this this game. I don't think Iox realizes that he died without getting the 100 armor. So it may just be sitting there. G-Swag obviously knows. That's why he's fighting up there for it. So Iox going to get this keg. Maybe he did grab that 100 armor? Not quite sure what happened there. Must have. Anyway, Keg's going to go to Iox. He's going to be here way early for this hunter, though. When he jumps away, trying to avoid those rockets. He does get the juggle kill. 100 armor's his, but he needs to pick up some health. That grenade's going to kill him if it hits him. Just jives out of the way. <laughs> you heard that tinkling and tinkling right around his feet. 
Ayox a bit on the run, trying to get some prediction LG shots. Be running out of time here soon. Only down two. Under three minutes to go, though. He really needs to get himself stacked up on some health. Looks like this key fight over Keg is going to be an important deciding factor here. Whoever can win this one's going to be in great position. A couple flat climbers come out three in a row by Ayox. That's going to get him a kill he needs. He's going to get that Keg, and now he's in great shape. Only down by one. Oh, he gets GS3K, G-Swag in a good position here if he can finish him off with the Rockets, taking a bunch of damage. And he kills himself in the face, so tie game now. But killing yourself is just as bad as your enemy killing you. And even things out, 12 apiece. So plenty of time for anyone to come back, but Iox has been getting all the power-ups. He's pinned down now. G-Swag gonna be running out of ammo soon, though, so... Pretty much everybody just daring each other, playing a little game of chicken there. G-Swag chasing Iox down. Kind of a risky maneuver considering that he doesn't have much armor or health. You can see him down only to 4,100. Good players now. Trying to get a free prediction shot out. G-Swag taking that damage. Needs to be careful. Headshot comes out. He's not going to get the kill out of there, but Iox broken down very quickly. G-Swag with a grenade to the face. Iox taking all kinds of damage from every direction. Still able to convert two kills out of it, so he will be up by two, but G-Swag has a bit of time now. He knows that Iox has broken down to pretty much even health with him. Oh, big flag primary comes out, able to dodge it, flag ball comes out, G-Swag down by 100 armor is going to be his. We're going to see one more fight over Keg, I believe. They come down to who gets a good rocket pack or flag primary in. There's a rocket pack right there, another rocket comes in, tie game, under a minute left. When is this keg going to spawn? This could be key. G-Swag's not in position for it. Trying to predict. Get three more rockets for an instant kill to go ahead. Neither player wants to die right now. Big combo comes out to try to push him away. Flack hitting him. Gets him with the rocket. G-Swag up by one with 35 seconds to go. Sounded like keg spawned. Nope, that was the uh, 50. Another kill by G-Swag. Now he can be a little bit defensive. He knows that Iox has to chase him down. Hard to really run away. Oh, Keg goes to him. That's huge. Iox not able to get there in time. 22 seconds left. Anything's possible on this map, but with the 175 health, it's going to really be difficult for Iox to just output that much damage. And there's the sweat. There's the uh, killing spree by G-Swag. That's going to do it. 100 armor on top of that. So 10 seconds left. G-Swag going to take this map pick. I believe we said this was Iox's map pick. As we pour through the stats, first map going to G-Swag, taking Ajax's map pick. Next we're going to see Rankin, which was G-Swag. So we could take a commanding lead. Or actually, no, this is best of three. So he could take the series, depending on what happens on Rankin. So stick around here. This could be a quick one.